you about the Waterbury mechanic who found a treasure trove of artwork in a dumpster. Well, tonight we hear from the man whose life has changed dramatically since the find. News 12 Connecticut's Mark Sudall also spoke with an art historian who paints an even clearer picture. So I started building this place over 10 years ago. Jared Whipple, an auto mechanic by trade, has turned a Watertown property into an artsy skateboard park. But in the process, I stumbled upon this lifetime's worth of artwork. Inside a 40 cubit yard dumpster on the property, Whipple found the paintings of Francis Hines, who stored his life's work on the property, but died in 2016. Hines became famous for wrapping a number of buildings in New York, like his paintings. Three years before he passed away, the owner of the barn in Watertown, uh, where he had stored his life's work, was preparing to sell the property. When Hines died, the estate threw his work into two huge dumpsters, one which Whipple and his friend George found. We started pulling it out of this dumpster not too far from here in this old abandoned barn, and we just fell in love with it. He felt that it was morally just wrong to throw away this whole body of work. Art historian Peter Falk says Whipple had no knowledge about art, but did a lot of research over several years and that time was well spent. The larger paintings, which are roughly, you know, four by uh, six feet, those are priced at uh, twenty dollars to $22,000. Mm -hmm. um, the smaller ones, you know, around 12500 All told, this find is worth millions of dollars. It doesn't come along that often. Whipple says he contacted Hines' family, who have allowed him to keep and sell the art, which also includes some sculptures. Whipple, a hard-working mechanic since age 19, is now sitting in the driver's seat. In Watertown, Mark Sudall, News 12, Connecticut. Uh, the artwork will be on display at the Hollis Taggart Gallery in Southport next month.